Smuzzy in the Dave Cave. Uh, I have a new hat bought from my uh, auntie in America. Thank you very much. If you see this, it's very, very nice. It's very rare that I get hats that fit me. It's still slightly large and this is still a small medium. I'd like a, a smaller one again. I have a tiny head. I also have the most important thing, which is tea. Um, I would like to give a shout out to Daz, Darren, Brian, who is in hospital today because he's got lazy blood. Sort your life out. I hope you're all right. Uh, I, oh, I'm going to do a little bit of background because this is really about the toy, but I just, I, it's not really a Dave. I'm going to, I'm just going to get rid of that door out of frame ever so slightly. There we go. Um, pictures of this toy started showing up online with brightly a black toy with brightly colored pieces of plastic where the differences were from the first one there are a few iterations of this toy and i think i've got all of them because i like them um but just because the world has been a very odd place for me and emily of late um uh, it's never really been something it's just one of those toys that came along that I would have loved more than anything and couldn't afford. It just, it was at the wrong time. And so I just had to put it out of my mind. But then pictures of it started showing up. People showing it started showing up. People doing transformations and stuff like that. And I just, <sighs> so nice. Um, and then just at zero hour, I put a thing into Transformers, uh, the Go Figure thing, which is, it, I'm sure it's not a raffle. You're not allowed to call it a raffle. Um, but it's a thing that happens on Transformers UK, not my thing, the TFYTC, but Transformers UK equ equ equally does it. Uh, and I won their little thing. I won their little thing on the probably like just when things are up there, very, very worst. I won their little thing and it made me very, very, very happy. Well, yes. If you know me, you'll know what I mean by that. Um, so I'm just, I'm, this is the box. It's come fairly well packaged. It's in a really nice box. I'm going to turn that upside. I love, so I adore, and I've been on about it before, these things, everything that comes through from where I got this from, which is Greg at Primetime Toys, because he does it. That's what Transformers Go Figure thing is, but it's basically Greg at Primetime Toys. Um, I'm very excited. <laughs> this isn't going to be the transformation. This is just me opening the box. I might do the review later on of me doing the actual toy and doing some comparisons between the other ones that are out there. I've put the Stanley knife down. I'm be very careful with the box because the box is as beautiful as the toy inside. Got a little bit of scuffy scuffy, but we'll live. It's got a little, oh, it's got a crunched corner. People will be on to Kapow about that. I bought a toy with a crunched corner. It's got a little bit of a crunched corner. It doesn't matter. Okay. Commander Thunder Leader. It's not exactly the best English, is it? It doesn't transform that well. So it's just, it's warnings on the back. I'm not even going to bother show you. It says contains parts for small children and large children that are just very excited. Um, it's got this beautiful angled, lovely box. This would be the kind of box that I would expect to see a pair of Air Jordans come in. Just something else that's in my not too far distant future. I've made my mind up about, oh God, look at that. <laughs> so I worked for a company for a little while where we designed boxes like this and stuff like that and can you see that some of this is matte and some of this has got the the the, the reflection of what's going on in my oh my god that's just so beautiful isn't it it's just so nice look at that artwork i've got to keep that somehow i've got to chop it out oh it does it come out does it yes oh that is going up that is going in a frame somewhere oh i've just seen it I've just... <sighs> <laughs> oh, people go on about how bad the movie verse is all the time and do you know what my answer is it's, screw you man this is my favorite this is my jam i don't care what you lot think i'm going to embrace loving movie verse from now on now this this one has got 
bits of battle damage on it and stuff like that. And none of the ones that I've got so far have got bits of battle damage on it and stuff like that. That is what you get in your box. The lighting is obviously bad because that is rippling reflective gump off of everything and I will whip this off as much as I can. But one of the problems, let's wax lyrical about this for a moment. One of the problems when you get the other Wei Zhang one is that he's got the, the chest, that, which is the front of the long nose cap that sticks out just underneath the window tits, yes? And when you look at that, the proportion was all wrong. Even when you looked at like the movie verse one, even when you looked at the actual Hasbro one, the, the red boxes that were left were just way too big. And his shoulders are really, and it really ruined the proportion of him. If you are used to looking at Optimus, because stood next to him up there, I've got the DMK model kit, which is about as close as you're going to get. It's, it's actually made, the model kit was made from the gump that the movie company gave to basically the Gundam people to make it. Blah, 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 blah. So one of the things they've done on this kit is they have changed, oh, hang on, right, so let's just cut that, cut that because we've got zip ties holding stuff together and we're going to cut that and we're going to cut that and I quite like the way they've done this because all the zip ties that are in there, can you see this one, it means you can cut them without the risk of chopping the toy that's underneath, makes me very happy. Oh dear, here we go. That's beautiful. Now for whatever reason, and I've got to try and work it out, but the angle, the, the, the actual angle that the chest windows sit on this are much, much nicer. The other thing that's just fallen out immediately is the matrix. It's definitely in there. There it is, it's just fallen out. So let's show you that first. If I press that there, that's useless. And try it again. Oh well, you've got a matrix of leadership. That'll do nicely, Bosch. It's got a matrix, you've seen it before. It's exactly the same as the Hasbro one, but it was a slightly larger. And then the rest of this thing, look, <laughs> like that. Oh, it's so pretty. The first thing, is he gonna come out? Is he gonna come out? So I'm looking for this, this toy, I've got the alternate frequency come on. Um, this toy has a very nice ass which is a very strange thing to say about your um, robot toy. But if you look at the back of that, look how nicely those mud guards fold away. That is just all of this backpack. It's just as nice as it gets, literally just as nice as it gets. I just, and the way that these, let's go one at a time because I'm getting all carried away. First of all, this is my toy. Let me focus in on that a little bit better. That is the 2007 Optimus Prime from Transformers, the live action movie, down to a T. This is as good as it gets. This, just the blue on the rings on here, everything is just, just fantastic. Um, but the, the, the best bits, the most important bits about this, this is how it comes out the box. So if this chest thing isn't quite right, just shush. This is how it came out the box. This is how they packed it. But those chest bits are so much more in scale than, and forgive me, I'm gonna get up. Don't laugh at my fat butt when I get up. Grab the other Optimus, but. That, can you see how big those chest pieces are? They come round right down to his stomach. And that doesn't quite work. I mean, it's so close, so close to being what we want. But then you lift this one up and the chest bits are still on the actual chest and this is where his stomach is. And the whole thing just makes a bit more sense. The other thing that's just epically beautiful about this, oh dear, is all the other ones have got fixed fingies. And this one, oh, that's nice and stiff, that. You see that? That is all independently articulated fingers. They don't fall off, which has been one of the problems that I've had generally with Optimus Prime toys is that they don't fall off. Plus the backs of the palms are weathered in this beautiful aluminium steel. If I get up nice and close, let's see if I can. There you go, see, amazing. The other thing that's just 
unbelievably good about this one is you've got hello these which have got holes in here right so what you do and forgive, i've ne never done this before so you'll have to just forgive me for a moment but yeah there we go so let me show you what i've just done without not doing it in here is a little hooky hook okay so if you take the square and put it in the hooky hook and i've got a horrible feeling i've just attached this upside down but then you shut the door panel you move their door panel back up to where it ought to be like so and then you move that over and clips it all together that bosh look and that means she's got hands without having that doofy angle inside because the other ones had to be like that in order to have the and now he's got energon swords without having to have the doofy angle hand thing you can make a nice fist put the thumb in there and now he's got nice fists and he's got his energon swords out which is great so the other thing that this is just 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 amazing for is these angles here they are not like that on the other ones i don't think they're like that on the other ones so can you see that that is really straight they're really straight whereas on the movie when you see them in the film this is all a very different angle and those angles just make it for me that is just as good as it gets that's beautiful these are bigger and more profound which are the wing which are the mirrors if you want to get really accurate about stuff these have got the similar thing to the other one which they fold around i'll show you that I'm, i might do a transformation later on show you the truck mode there's one thing in truck mode about this is that it's just profoundly better than the truck mode of all the other ones that have come out so far um the head still if you lift that up and then turn it around and then push it back down is the face i always have the facey face showing i seldom have the battle mask because although yes in transformers 2007 and Tran transformers dark of the moon and all of that sort of stuff optimus is let's face it it's a little bit crazy um he shouldn't be he should have his face mask and he only puts the battle mask on when he needs it uh, apart from that all of this is just built beautifully he will oh, soft buttery ratchets and the knee and he goes back that oh no there's a there's a double there's a double look that you've got this separate little blue piece here and when you move it back it'll hit the bottom there and then it will keep going up to give you a double knee, which is amazing. Oh, chrome underneath, which worries me because at some point I'm going to have to start making um, felt pads for the guy, these guys to stand on so they don't get absolutely butchered. But this is the Black Apple Optimus Prime. Um, I couldn't. Oh, God, look at it. Just look at that. Look at all the flames pinstriping well 10 years ago you had to pay an awful lot more to get all this sort of pinstriping and stuff like that and these days that paint job is kind of the three-piece standard and i used to have some very very profound opinions about third party stuff and my opinion now about third party stuff is that i don't really think hasbro really gets very close to it at all i really don't because this is beautiful just genuinely beautiful that's come apart there we go it's plugged in that makes me very happy that makes me exceptionally happy you've got all of that battle damage on there oh i need to show you the truck mode i've got to show you the truck mode there's something i've got to go and do this afternoon which is taking me away from showing you the truck mode look at the, on his toes he's got oh he's got scuff marks on his toes which is lovely he's got scuff marks on the tops of his thighs in here look which is again and i the risk of repeating myself lovely he's got scuff marks on his wee wee look wee ha ha it's got <sighs> so good just so good so other bits that we've got in the box bits that kind of make a difference for a lot of people it didn't bother me quite so much but you have symmetrical weapons now so we can have one in each hand which is great 
you've got another one of these because you've got the Energon swords. Then they're sort of translucent, but at the same time, if I hold them up like that, you can see how much they glow. There's no glow in that. There's no batteries in that. That's literally the light coming through transparent orange plastic. And that is it. There's one more thing in here, which is a separate head with different eyes. And I don't know. I don't know what that's for. I'm going to do my homework. When I come back, I will show you. Look. So now he's got blue eyes going on in there. And that's just another head. Another face. Again, battle damaged. Beautifully, just so beautifully painted. <sighs> You've all seen the transformation from this. There are a few quirky little bits. I'm very much looking forward to this. I'm very much looking forward to these. If you unfold these, you can move them up and they become the corner. Big trucks in the States have corner bars that let you know how far or close you are to a thing. So if you have a massive, great big truck, they have pipes that stick up so you can see them from the cab. This truck mode has those. This is different, the way this is all folded up inside. And I'm going to do my homework before I do any more on this video, but I just thought you'd all like to see this. There's a lot to work out on here. The way these gas tanks unfold, there's a lot to work out on here, and I've just got to be very, very patient. I'm sure that these chest pieces will fold back better and further than they are. But I've got to find out how it's done which means I just need to sit and play with it. Uh, I couldn't love this toy. I say it all the time and I've got a bit paranoid now that I say it too much and people are gonna take the piss soon. However, I don't care. I could not love this toy, it's so good. I just, this, so nice. So, so very nice. Um, if you're on the fence about buying one of these, if you're thinking to yourself, I've already got one of these, do I need another one? It's enough nicer than the original 07 Wei Zhang one. Yes, I think it's worth it. I just think it's worth it. I'm horribly biased because I love this character and I love this toy and I love this scale. I just love everything about it.